In this presentation, we will reconcile our year-end payroll forms and in essence double check that they've been filled out correctly. So we have here our forms 941 and the W-3. These are the two forms that we can use to reconcile each other and make sure that uh, the two forms have been filled out correctly. We can double check, in other words, our quarterly form by tying it out to the W-3 and vice versa check the W-3 to the quarterly forms. Remember what these quarterly forms are doing is they are calculating the three main taxes, which are the FIT, federal income tax for the uh, employees, the social security tax for employees and employer, and the Medicare tax for employees and employers. Uh, this is gonna be done on a quarterly basis. So we've got January, uh, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, or quarter four, quarter three, quarter two, quarter one. The W-3, of course, is just a yearly form that will be reported at the end of the year, summarizing all of the W-2s that we send to both the employees and the IRS. So what we can do is double check these forms because we can see here on, on the totals here, we have the total wages, Social Security, and uh, Medicare wages, as well as the calculations for federal income tax, Social Security tax, and Medicare taxes, which have been withheld. So to do that, we're going to try to match these up. Now, what we don't show here is the 940, the form 940, which is the year-end form, and that's because it's reporting FUTA, which is just a uh, tax for, it's an employer-only tax, and therefore not reported on the W-3. It is possible for us to kind of compare the FUTA wages, but we still have to do some reconciling to make sure that we're picking up the correct wages on, FUTA, on the FUTA form, which is a yearly form, the form 940. So common misconception would be that the quarterly forms, the 941s, the IRS wants us to report everything quarterly and then summarize that same information again on the yearly form 940. Not necessarily the case, the forms 941s, report the three main taxes, the big taxes, the FIT, federal income tax, Social Security, and Medicare, which the IRS wants to see on a quarterly basis, whereas the Form 940 reports a tax that's usually a lot smaller, FUTA, federal unemployment tax, and therefore the IRS is happy or content enough, I guess, just to see that reported on a yearly basis rather than on a quarterly basis. So they're actually two different things we're reconciling there. So if we look at what we have, these, we have quarter three and quarter four. In this example, we only have two quarters rather than four quarters, and that'll make it a little bit easier for us to show how this reconciling process would work. If we had four quarters of data, then of course we would just add up the four quarters of data. So on the 940s over here, this box, box two, is the wages and tips uh, box. And these are really wages and tips for FIT calculation, meaning this and this for the two quarters should add up to this box one. So if we were to tie this out to double check everything at the end of the year, we're gonna say, okay, the 91425.1 plus the 135909.9 should add up to the 227335. And you might even, I even subtracted sometimes, 227735 uh, minus that should go to zero. So that would tie out. And then we're taking a look at the federal income tax withheld box three should tie out to the federal income tax box two on the W3. Now, again, you can't tie this number to this number because it's too complex because it'll change by employee, but we can sum them up and double check that way. So again, it's not a flat tax. So we can't do a simple calculation from the wages to the tax. We can take the 17003.26 plus the 25212.4, and that should give us the 4221566 if we subtract that, 4221566 back to zero. Then we'll take the uh, Social Security wages. So we have the Social Security wages here and here. That should tie out to Social Security wages here on the W3. So if we were to add the Social Security wages up, we're adding the 96973.5 and the 97632.5 to get the um, 194606. So if we subtract out what well, we have, 194606 back down to zero, 
And then we're looking for the social security here. Now this is where it gets a little bit complex. This is the actual tax. And uh, it, this could differ from the tax that we're gonna see over here. So let's see why. We're gonna add up the 12024.71 and down here the 12106.43 and that's going to differ and it will always differ by the way the 12,065.57 why because we multiplied this by twice the amount this in other words is not 0 0.062 but 0 0.124 or twice the wages in other words it's the employer and employee portion so if we take this amount and divide by two we'll get just the employee portion which is what's reported on the W-2s and the W-3. Same is going to be here. So this is the Medicare taxes on these two lines. So if we add those two lines, we're going to say that's the 96973.5 plus the 144232.5, giving us the 241206. Uh, so if we subtract that out, 241206 back down to zero. And then we're going to do the same calculation for Medicare wages so we will add those two up okay so that's going to be and hit something funny there i'm not sure so 2812.23 plus the 4182.74 that's the 699.497 uh, again that's going to differ from what we have here because we see this rate of 0 0.029 which is really twice the rate that we typically would probably know 0.0145 because it's both the employer and employee portion. Therefore, if we take this number and divide by two, we're gonna get the 3,497, which is the number we want, the 3,497. These are the numbers that we can generally reconcile in most cases. Now, there may be some reasons why these numbers would differ, and if there were, we'd wanna make a reconciliation and know exactly what the differences are. So when questioned, if questioned, which we quite possibly could be, uh, by the IRS in terms of a, some type of audit, we could uh, give responses to any kind of differences between the W-3 and the 941s. Remember once again that we're, we're talking about we only had two 941s here because it was our first year of operations, our first year of payroll, and we only had two quarters. If we had four quarters, we would have to add up the four quarters. Then we're having the Form 940, which we can't tie out as neatly with, with the other forms, the W-3 and uh, the W-2s. Why? Because the W-3s and the W-2s are employee taxes, and uh, this form is an employer tax, and they don't tie out also to the quarterly forms, the 941s, because those report different taxes. They report federal income tax, Social Security, and Medicare. So the 941s do report some employer taxes, their portion, the employer portion of Social Security and Medicare, but doesn't report the employer tax of FUTA. This is the only tax form that reports the employer tax of FUTA. We can, however, look at the uh, total payments for all employees, the total compensation, and try to reconcile that in some way to the amounts that are on the W-3 and uh, the 940. It may not reconcile exactly to uh, any particular box. It'd be closest to box uh, to the Medicare box on W3, but it could differ by a cafeteria plan. But we, we can reconcile that difference and know what the difference would be between the total payments here and uh, the Medicare calculation on box three of the W2s uh, and the W3 and box three of the W-2s and the W-3 would, of course, also reconcile to adding up the 940s, which we just did on uh, box 5C in part one. Off the payroll, you... you